So imagine you get a question or a scenario about this gentleman who's just started a calcium channel blocker, something like amlodipine or philodipine or nifedipine or diltiazem or verapamil. What kind of side effects may they ask you about or what kind of side effects are we supposed to pick up and attribute probably due to the drug that this person has taken? Obviously every calcium channel blocker is slightly different, but there are some crucial ones to remember when it comes to medical exams that go across the whole spectrum. So let's have a look. Start with headache, very common thing that happens when it comes to calcium channel blockers. Dizziness can often happen as well and may present with feeling dizzy. Often this could be due to the hypotension that can happen due to a calcium channel block. A couple of GI things can happen, nausea, vomiting for sure, constipation can sometimes be attributed to this type of drug, and also rashes, of course rashes can happen with lots of different types of medications, but certainly with calcium channel blockers. One of the commonest ones to remember is your pedal edema, one of the commonest reasons that people come back because they're getting swollen ankles. Palpitations can sometimes happen with calcium channel blockers. Gingival hyperplasia, not so common, but it is recognized as a side effect with calcium channel blockers. Of course, one of the other ones that we often remember first is that flushed appearance that you can get when someone starts this type of drug. Often very difficult to remember pharmacology. Have a look at the image, try and fix it in your mind. Often we remember better when we see pictures rather than reading list after list after list. So I hope this helps with calcium channel blockers. Much more like this on our audiobooks, our webinars, and our courses. Hashtag can pass will pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora.